Hi everyone, I'm Michael Turney, a motion designer, minimalist and traveller. In this video I'm going to share with you a few tips for packing and living out of a backpack. Since 2017 I've lived in quite a few places so there are so many options other than simply buying or renting. I've lived in Airbnbs, hotels, shipping containers, couch surfing and lots more. I wasn't always this structured or intentional with my organisation, but I discovered minimalism about four or five years ago and it really influenced kind of what I earn, how I pack or even how I live my life. I started by going freelance to have more time and I even ended up giving my own TED talk on the art of spending time. I now spend just four months out of the year working on paid client work and take eight months off to work on personal projects or simply to relax. Again, this was a gradual process that has taken over a decade to develop so far, um, as I'd rather have more time than money. Over the past four years, my backpack has changed along with the things that I take with me. Essentially, you get to slide the bar where you want, so whether it's heavy and homely, so you get to bring your full house with you in a bag, or it's light and lonely, so you have nothing with you, just in your pockets. So. This kind of this balance between how comfortable you are with the amount of things that you're taking. Even myself, I've travelled to Spain from the UK in January 2018 with my cousin for like a long weekend with just a handful of items in our pocket. So this is all I took with me. It was quite cold um, and bad timing not to bring any layers, so I wouldn't do it again in a hurry, but it was a great experience. So I guess it's all about finding the right balance um, for you personally that you feel comfortable with. So there's no right or wrong here, it's just all down to personal choice. So with that in mind, let's have a brief look at everything that I own now. As always, you can find a full list of everything here in the link below, which will link to my website. So I usually split my items into four main sections. So number one, technology. So laptops, mobile phones, wires, um, I even have a PlayStation controller, um, so instead of video calling my dad, I just play a game with him like once or twice a week and just have a catch up while I play on my laptop. So it's quite a lot of space to fit in the backpack, but it's very important to me personally to have that. Number two, clothing. I've kind of whittled it down over the years. I used to have quite a lot of shirts because I used to work in-house at different design studios, but now I just stick with four or five white t-shirts. It kind of always fluctuates um, depending on where you're going, what you're doing, if you've spilled anything down your t-shirt. Um, but this is kind of my main setup. I have one smart shirt for TED Talks or videos or dinner if I'm presenting anywhere, or just a simple white t-shirt. So I'm happy to clean these by hand as well, so I don't have to waste a full wash load if it's just a few things that I have to wash. So number three, hygiene. So this is my simple wash bag, so toothbrush, shampoo, beard stuff as I started growing a beard during lockdown. And over the years, I've just started to, to refine things. So uh, even like toothpaste, now I use toothpaste pills, which are a thing. And finally, number four, miscellaneous. So things like a passport, pens, notebooks, first aid kit, and possibly one of my favorite things over the past year, these foldable sunglasses. As every time I travel to a new place, my glasses would have a break in my pocket or on my shirt. So over the past four years, I've tended to kind of search for very specific items to see if they actually exist and people make them. So that's a quick overview of everything I earn now. I've been traveling full time since 2017, but since January 2020, I've been in the UK as we've had lockdown after lockdown. So I've spent most of my time reading and listening to audiobooks, designing and working on lots of animations, working on my efficient design tutorials on my YouTube channel, and working on an animation course with Domestica. I personally love the process of packing and now that I've reduced everything into this bag, it helps me feel extremely organized and brings me a lot of happiness. It's almost a therapeutic and calming process for me. I'll leave you with three different books that I've read that have kind of helped me shape my life with a lot more calmness and organization. So The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. So this is by Marie Kondo and she created a system called KonMari which helps you fold your clothing and organize and structure your life. A Monk's Guide to a Clean House and Mind. This book has almost made me enjoy doing the pots um, and just cleaning up in general. So I really enjoy that process a lot more because of this book. And finally, How to Sit by Thich Nhat Hanh. 
Thich Nhat Hanh is one of my favourite authors for projecting calmness onto the world and also I think just feeling a lot more relaxed in general when I'm working or travelling or just how I'm living my life. Stay safe and I hope this video has given you a lot of ideas on how to pack and hopefully we'll all be travelling again soon. Thanks for watching.